you have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 324th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing. Mm -hmm. That's right, how to systemize, stylize, <laughs> and monetize your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's great to have you here. Yes. Hey, we hey, have baby. our third part <laughs> mm -hmm. of our three-part series. Wrapping it up tonight. We're wrapping it up, how mm -hmm. to get more plumbing customers. Yes. All right, so if you're mm -hmm. looking for more plumbing customers, you're in the all right, right place. you don't want to miss. That's right, you're in the right place. You don't yeah. want to miss this episode. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to get to it here. Absolutely. Already, I see, hey, we see you checking in already. These Hi guys know how to do all it. All right, hey, hey if you're watch, watching live, you're part mm -hmm. of the live social audience, let us know. Type mm -hmm. live in the comments. Mm hmm if you're watching the replay, please type <laughs> replay so we know that you caught the replay. And if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Just keep on, keep on listening. listening. You know, we All were right. talking to somebody today. Hey, Patrick. Yeah. Um, we were talking to someone today about how you came up with that. Keep on listening. Do you want to share that story? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when early, yeah. We started, it's like a lot of the things. I just... You just jump in. Yeah. <laughs> so I was actually running back, you know, mm -hmm. way, episodes way back. Way and back. And so I, I said, hey, if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. And I, didn't, <laughs> I hadn't thought it through any more than that. <laughs> so said, just keep on listening. <laughs> So, and it's stuck ever since. That's right. So, <laughs> so there you, you have it. So you're a genius and you didn't even know it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, honey. How you doing? Doing great. All right. It's good doing? to see you here. Thank you so much. You're looking sharp. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why they call you the lovely Laura. Well, you're no, looking there's lovely. only one person that calls me that, but... <laughs> <laughs> right. that would be you. And it's good to have you here, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Shelby's good. Shelby, our producer. Everybody say hi to Shelby, our wonderful producer. Um, and yet, she's right. Sign up for text messages. You don't want to miss an episode of Potty no, Talk don't. Live. Especially so, tonight. So type text in the comments right now if you always want to be alerted when we go live. That's right. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. too, we go live not only on Facebook. We go live on our website, themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash show hey john welcome and brother we're, we're live out there as well yep. as all the past episodes you want to binge 300 and what 324 this is the 324th 24 shows they're lots all out there. of gold out there mm -hmm. nuggets of gold whole yes. gold mine out there for you <laughs> that's it lowry right. brothers in the house hey jim right. nice to have, to have you, you. all right and john may said hello from atlanta atlanta Alex, all right. Saying Alex, hello. good to have you here, yeah. brother. Live. Mm -hmm. to all say right. Hello to Sandra. Forrest. I think uh, I, I do peruse, um, you know, the stuff in, and I, th I think Alex commented. We talked hey, about, Scott. you know, the the the, the comp marketing. You know, my marketing team mm -hmm. put something out about dressing, not looking like a plumber. Mm. Okay. And I think Alex is something like he doesn't look like a plumber. I mean, mm. he gets hit with that all the time. I can see that. Look That's at always a good sign right. when you right. when you hear you don't look like a plumber. That's a very good That's sign. That's a very good sign. Okay. I bet Scott gets that all the time, right, yep. Scott? You don't right. look like a plumber. Hey, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm anxious to get to what we're talking about oh, here, yeah? this third part. Okay. Here, you know, we've been talking about you know how can you get more plumbing customers, mm -hmm. and okay. we're learning here. That, Wait. you know, what? Hey, Tanner. Hey, Tanner. Tanner. That's right. The Tanner from the Tanner. La Aspen Mountain Plumbing in the house. That's right. Good to have you here, brother. Good to see you, Tanner. But customers buy from those they know, mm -hmm. like, and trust. Like Tanner. Like Tanner, right. <laughs> okay. Tanner does a good job with he it. He does. All right. Mm. And so in the past uh, past couple episodes, we've mm -hmm. talked about, you know, how to get customers to know you. To know you. All right. Mm -hmm. And ha how to get customers to like you. Mm -hmm. If you didn't catch those, be sure to catch them. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. But uh, tonight we're going to be going over how to get customers to trust you. Right. And these are really simple things to do. Mm -hmm. Problem is we just don't do them. We don't do them. All right. Because it's easy to just kind of let it go by the yep. wayside. All but right. Don't, don't do that. Yeah. That's hey. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, question. We had a question, don't we? We get the question? Yes, question for tonight, tonight everybody. All right, on a scale of one to ten, mm -hmm. how important is trust when making buying decisions? Hmm. Trust. For you, okay? Yes. So when you weigh all the things that you kind of think about when you make a, a purchase, how, right? How important is trust? Because there's all trust? kinds of things to, to consider. Right. Price, um, what else? Quality, yep. um, speed of delivery, those type things. of things. Trust. Trust. One to ten. Give us a number. Okay, mm -hmm. so there we go. Yes. Um, right. And also, um, like we always like to say, tag your spouse. If you are a plumbing power couple, make sure you tag your spouse. Or if you're um, a plumbing business owner guy and you want your wife yep. to come along, make sure you tag her. All right. So she sees the show. DW says, let's go. 
Dub. All right, man. Dub's Good to have house. you here. All right. I love Dub. All right, mm-hmm. Mr. Gleason. Jackie New York, Gleason? New York is in the house. Okay, no, it's not Jackie. All right. Mm-hmm. Cleet. Good Ryan. to have you here, brother. Hey, Cleet live. from Down Under. Yes. Um, Australia. All right. Tanner. Tanner says 10. Yes. Trust. 1 to 10. I think mm-hmm. uh, Scott says it's a 10 for them, for him. Mm-hmm. I would agree. Trust that. becomes a biggie. It is a biggie. Okay? Right. And as, we, as we get into this, mm-hmm. we're going to find that trust. We kind of, guys, we kind of blow it. This is where, where we, who? well, the plumbers. Okay. Okay. The it's a 10. I've learned to trust my gut, Alex okay. said. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, he's a sharp dressed guy. Yeah, look at him. Yeah. Looks sharp. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. But it's, um, you know, the trust is, is a big deal mm-hmm. with our customers. Mm-hmm. You know, Especially so, when you're walking into their house. Right. I mean, it is a whole different um, ball game as opposed to just walking into a store or a tire company right. or whatever. Um, Tanner says if they don't trust you, then they probably don't want you in their house, especially alone. Exactly right, Tanner. Right. And so, and that's where they come up with these, you know, these uh, objections. And we make a big deal out of objections. Mm-hmm. The fact there's, there's, you know, these sales guys out there mm-hmm. selling their whatever to talk about, you know, how to overcome objections. Mm-hmm. Well, really, with the objection you're overcoming is trust. Right. So if you're hearing things like, well, I need to talk with my husband mm-hmm. or, you know, well, I was just getting prices right. or says a 10. Mm-hmm. I got to go wash the cat and then I'll call you back. <laughs> I'm going to go go with you for sure. OK, no, right. that's no. just they don't trust you. Mm-hmm. OK, and we've lost trust. Right. So, so how are we going to talk about so let's how get out. Let's get Bradley, Bradley says 10. Yep. Bradley Baxley. Trust is a biggie. Hey, Bradley. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let's look at some things. Okay. You know. Bradley, where are you out of? I would like to know. I don't okay. think I recognize your name. And Patrick, I believe Nashville 615 Plumbing, I believe. Yeah, the that's new, right. New GM, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, there we go. Welcome, Patrick. So anyway, we're okay. going to get to it. Is that what you said? Yeah, let's get to it here. Hit it. I'll pay more if I trust them. Oh, Scott, Scott, amen, brother. Good. That's right. All right. Keep that in mind with your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. It's the same thing, okay. okay? So let's get at it, All right. okay? So we know that customers buy from those they know, like, and trust, mm-hmm. okay? So yes. we're looking at the trust, okay? All right, and number one, uno, uno, mm-hmm. consistency is up there. All right, it's up consistency there. Is consistency key. is key, okay? okay? All right, and you got to be consistent mm-hmm. with your message, okay? Okay. Expand so, on so that. So what please. I mean by that, okay? Yes, so that. you know, if, if you're if if in your marketing and, you know, your materials and all say that you're a clean company. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're big on cleanliness. Right. But your tech shows up, you know, mm. looking like he just crawled out of the sewer, <laughs> even though he just did a hard job <laughs> and all that. Even though he may just have. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. All of a sudden, it's not consistent. Right. Okay. I don't trust. Okay. Mm. They, they, they told me something that they aren't. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that you've got to be consistent with your messaging. And your messaging. All the way through. Right. At every touch point. Right. Okay, so you can't just put out the Facebook ad, mm-hmm. you know, showing and say, you. We're the greatest you know, company ever. Right, and, and your great work and that, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we love our customers and, you know, we'll take care of your house and home right. and all that kind of stuff. But you get there and. and you, right. And you walk through the flower bed. You pull bed. up with a truck, right. Mm-hmm. Pull up a truck that just barely makes it into the driveway, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> it's all beat up. Okay. Lincoln oil. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, you walk across, you walk, walk across their lawn. Mm-hmm. Kick you know, their cat. Right. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. you're right up, you know, right up on the door, mm-hmm. you know, that, that kind of a thing. Right. And you're looking dirty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Even though I get it. We worked, right? Sure. Okay. Have an extra uniform in the truck, maybe. Right. There's that. Okay. Mm-hmm. But we broke the messaging. Mm-hmm. We broke the, the, the messaging is not consistent. Right. It's the mm-hmm. same thing if you're saying you're friendly. So mm. if you're, you're posting stuff and all your, mm. all your, you know, your ads and stuff show this, you know, these friendly guys. And friendly CSRs. Friendly. Everybody's friendly. Happy, We're happy, friendly happy. and happy. Right. <laughs> and then when they call you, mm. it's like, you know, you might as well be saying, you know, kiss my butt. <laughs> you know, or it just sounds like you're talking to a robot. Right. Okay. You've lost them right mm-hmm. then. Okay. The consistent. trust. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, and it's hard to get this trust back, guys. Right. Okay, you you can't you can't get it back because there's so many right. plumbers to choose right. from, right? Repeat customers like the service the first time; mm-hmm. they, expect they expect that every exactly time. Exactly right. Right. Keep it consistent. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. so you, you, um, you got to keep it consistent. Keep okay? your messaging consistent. You know, and and so whatever your brand 
says you are, mm. okay? And hopefully we're working on brands that, that say you are special Correct. and unique mm -hmm. and value and those kinds of things. Right. It has to wash all the way through. Mm -hmm. It ain't about plumbing, mm -hmm. okay? You know, we had a great, you remember, um, you know, a couple a couple weeks ago, okay. we wanted to try a new restaurant, bars, yes. you know? Mm -hmm. we're, we're here in, uh, you know, Sarasota area. Mm -hmm. and we, we're kind of having fun checking out all these different places to mm -hmm. eat and hang out. Right. So they had this real nice hotel, Ritz Carlton. Oh. <laughs> Uh -huh. The Ritz Carlton now. Mm -hmm. The Ritz Carlton brand is like really, really. I mean, it's yeah, fancy, like fancy schmancy, right? You might say right, fancy mm -hmm. schmancy. Yes. You know, a little uppity. Yes, you know, and it's right on the uh, marina. And it was right on the marina, so we thought, whoa, you know, did you guys hear that? That was some major we thunder. We've got a big Florida storm going, going through right through now. Right now. Um, anyway, right. so yeah, so it's right on the the marina, and right. so you can see the water and the boats, and it's gorgeous. Right. Yes. So we, we get, you know, we pull up. Mm -hmm. First of all, the service even pulling up was, was no, not, you know, right? with the, uh, the, valet. the valet and all mm -hmm. that. It was like nothing. Womp, I mean, womp, right. Womp. I mean, yeah. it's like Holiday Inn or something mm -hmm. if, they, if they did have, right. you know, valet. Mm -hmm. Then we go in, you know, to the restaurant. Right. And it looked like something out of the 80s. Yeah. I mean, literally. Totally outdated. I mean, back in the day, you know, mm -hmm. I did the Holiday Inn circuit when I was doing the country <laughs> music. Yeah, actually, did there actually is a, a holiday inn circuit. Not know that. There's a holiday inn circuit, so I've <laughs> well, done the holiday inn circuit. Okay, back in your achy breaky heart days. Yeah, am I right? That's you know, oh, that's another that's story. Minor leagues, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was really nothing. It wasn't really any better than a holiday inn. No. Okay. No. And now, was it bad? If it was a holiday, would it have been bad? Hmm. No. No. But it would have been consistent with the holiday inn But message. it wasn't consistent. Right. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't consistent with. It wasn't consistent with the Ritz Carlton. Ritz -Carlton. Yes. Right. Yeah, so we'll never. I, I doubt if we'll ever even stay in a Ritz Carlton anywhere no. else ever. Mm -hmm. No, they ruined Because it. there's too much. Right. Right. The same goes for your, for your customers. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Same thing goes. They want to see consistency. Right. If you say you're unique, if you say that you offer great service, if you say that you're friendly, if you say that, you know, all, all those things, clean, value, all that, and you're not. Right. You don't get another chance. Right. Mm -hmm. so and be it consistent. has to be all the way through. Right. All the way through. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there we go. All right. All right. <clears throat> consistency is key. Mm -hmm. Number two. Uh, all right. Be a pro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shall Number <we>? two. <laughs> There we go. All right. No, no, boys, I don't sell. No, go back. Go back. <laughs> it's being a pro. Try the next one. There we there go. There we go. Thanks, okay. Shelby. All right. Two. Okay. Save the best for last. <laughs> Did you? Oh. Yes. Okay. Be a pro. Okay. Not a hack. Got to mm -hmm. be a pro. What I mean, be, be professional. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's controlling the call. So from the time that they call in. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's controlling the call. All right, and being professional with the call. Sure, and what do you mean by that, to control the call? Well, you know how to control the call. Well, yeah, I do, but... Okay, I'm... well, it's letting them know that you are <laughs> going to take care of them. Mm -hmm. So when they're asking the questions, you know... A million you know, questions. Right, you don't, let them, you, questions. you don't let them pe pepper you with questions. Right. Okay, so, so it's... Yeah, let me ask you, I'm, I know we've got a lot of plumbing business right. owners out, out there, and you've answered the phone quite a bit. How right. many questions normally does the plumbing customer ask right away, right? I mean, they're just like peppering you with questions, Right. right? Um, and so what you want to do, like you said, gain control of the phone call. Um, let me ask too, guys, right. what's, what's one of the first questions that they call when they call in? What's the, one of the first questions they ask when they call in the plumbing customers? What's, what's some of the good questions? Yep. And there's a million of them, right? You hear them all. Right. Um, well, so how much do you charge? Yeah. That's, that's usually, right. yeah. Okay. Can you get out today? Right. That's always a good one. So, yeah. Okay. But you don't want to get caught in answering all the questions. Correct. So, you know, if you've ever seen, um, you know, it, with anything professional um, that we're talking about, whether it's, you know, um, you know, first responders, when mm -hmm. they go into something's going down. You guys they, available, they, hey, president. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they control that situation, mm -hmm. okay? Right. I mean, we talk about in sports, controlling the field, mm -hmm. okay, controlling the time, the clock. Right. Okay, you've got um, a, a nurse. Right. When you walk into an emergency room, you know, when you walk in and you may have an emergency, they They're, control. They're um, asking the questions. They're the ones asking the questions. Okay. So how much do it cost? Right. Yep. And so we learn mm -hmm. as you learn, uh, Aaron, Aaron? You're, you're in academy, right? He's a graduate okay, of the academy. Okay, right, the perfect mm -hmm. call script. Mm -hmm. You know, sure, I can help you with that. Have we done work for you before? Okay, mm -hmm. so we start controlling. Yes. Start controlling the call. You that's the professional. Ask the questions. If, right. you're, if you're answering questions, that's hack. Right. Okay, so you're losing the trust. Mm -hmm. that's, I know that seems... Um, Counterintuitive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but the more they ask you questions, the more trust that they're losing. Correct. They trust you by you asking them questions right. and they feel like oh everything's going to be right everything's going to be okay yeah. 
you've obviously done this before. Right. And so you can take care of my problem, obviously. So I trust you and I'll answer your questions now as opposed to constantly getting peppered. So, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. When can you come out? Right. That seems to be the big one these days, yes. I think. Well, in fact, on that, yes. uh, by the way, of all these questions, that's the number one concern mm -hmm. of um, um, mean customers. Consume, yeah, mm -hmm. customers service you know customers mm -hmm. is whether or not you can get there today yeah, and Preston that's said the that number too. that's the number one concern mm -hmm. not you know how much does it cost even though they ask that's an intelligent question to ask mm -hmm. so they're, they're trying to sound you know ask an intelligent question right. but the number one concern is mm -hmm. you can, what can you come out today right and then number two is right right there with it <laughs> we will you even show, show up? up right patrick okay. said can you give me an estimate on the phone right, right. sure i can help you with that have we done work for you before right yep Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so and but of course you never do give an estimate over the phone. You never give an estimate over the phone. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we want to control the call. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, we want to keep them informed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as the schedule's changing, okay, and as we we learn in the academy, we're you know triaging the calls mm -hmm. and that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so as, as the schedule's changing, you want to keep them informed of yes. the schedule change. Oh yeah. And again, if. Um, not only the schedule might change, we well, need to move them to a different day, but it could be that you're stuck on a job that's taken longer and you're going to be late. S keep them informed. At, um, a happy customer is an informed customer. They may, if yeah. you keep them informed that you're going to be late, then normally they're not upset. If you don't keep them informed, that's when you've got an upset customer. Um, Steven says, ask them a question and take control of the call, always, because they're going to ask you a question. Um, you ask a question back and take control. Stephen, I believe, should know that being yes. in the academy as well. Yep. So, mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so be a pro. All right, that's key, right? So mm -hmm. you're being a pro there. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, are the guys, you know, plumbers being knowledgeable, you know, on the equipment? Mm. Okay, at least aware. Okay, oh, of what? never seen that before. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You're going to lose trust right there. Right. It doesn't matter if you're giving it away for free. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to my husband. <laughs> you know? I'm oh, out. we're just getting prices. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's the objection you're going to hear. Right. Again, most all these objections um, all center around, revolve around trust. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you, you want to worry about how to overcome objections, mm -hmm. okay, earn the customer's trust. Yes. By the way, you know, the customer's already already sold. They called you. They called you. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's us that screw it up. <laughs> they need it done. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're not looking to call around and get prices. Mm -hmm. You know, think about it. When you take the car in the shop, are you just taking your car in? Can you give me an estimate on this? And then I'm going to go down to the next shop and get mm -hmm. an estimate there. Go to the next right. shop and get it, an estimate. It doesn't. People don't have time for that. Right. It doesn't mm -hmm. work that way. No. Okay. What happens is, is we don't earn their trust. Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, you know, the, the plumbing consumer, all right? Mm -hmm. No one wakes up in the morning wants to call a plumber. I've heard that. Okay, no one times. wakes up. Got it. I'm going to beat that home. <laughs> okay? No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Mm -hmm. So they're already emotional, already uptight, mm -hmm. already don't trust. Right. Okay. Already have a hiccup in their day. Right. Not happy about it. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yep, got to. Mm -hmm. Consistency is key. Consistency. Be, be consistent is with your key. message. Yes. All right? And be a pro. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, this is a good time for me to offer you my million dollar plumber blueprint. And it's very pro. Okay. All right. Huh? And there you'll and learn. And it's consistent. Th there we go. It is. <laughs> you'll learn these kinds of things. All right. The, the specs in there mm -hmm. on how to build a million dollar plumbing business mm -hmm. while having a life too. What? That's key. That's what? a key part of the. No, when you have a plumbing right. business, you have to give up your entire right. life and work 24 7. And it's free. Okay. <laughs> Simply type free in the comments. So mm -hmm. go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free. To grab your blueprint today. Today. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, so there we, got we go. Those. All right. One, two, and how, and now, how, how do we oh, earn the trust? Sorry. Yes. All right. I Again, forget. be consistent with your message. Mm -hmm. Consistency must be you know consistent all the way through your mm -hmm. messaging. All right. If you drop it anywhere in there, you're not going to earn the trust, and right. you're going to hear, "Well, I need to talk to my husband," mm -hmm. or "Hey, we're, we're just we're just getting prices right or now." Or get the heck out of my house. Right. Right. <laughs> Leave. Yeah. Okay. Out. Also, be a pro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not a hack. Okay, be on top of things. Be, you control the call. Mm -hmm. Be on top of the schedule, on, on communication, all right? Yes. And have your, your guys, you need to, need to be aware of the equipment. You don't need mm -hmm. to be an expert in every piece of equipment. Right. But you at le least need to have some details. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the, in other words, I ain't seen this before. Right. I ain't seen that. <laughs> right, right. Huh. Yeah, no, <laughs> huh. What's this? <laughs> right. Okay. That does not instill trust. Okay. There's no, no trust there. No. Okay. okay. And number uh, three? And number three, mm -hmm. this is a biggie. What There's is a it? trap uh, most everyone falls in. Don't sell. 
Stop with the selling. Stop. Make it stop, stop with the pressure of the selling. Stop <laughs> right. pressuring you guys to sell. Mm-hmm. All right. Stop putting that pressure on your customers. Mm-hmm. They're already sold. Mm-hmm. Okay. This this is a trap. You know the guy the guys fall into. All right. We're trying, the, the, trying to make the most to make the most out of the call. So mm-hmm. we're trying to sell our super duper earth saving water conditioning system. Okay. <laughs> Or, hey, if you need one toilet, why not all five? You know, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Customer mm-hmm. Do- doesn't trust that. Right. Okay. And the bottom line is your guys can't sell anyways. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can sell, but on the whole, the guys owner. can't sell. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. And all the amount of training and everything in there um, isn't going to get them to sell any better. Well, what do they do instead? Okay. I'm going to provide options. Oh, <gasps> what a concept. Okay. Mm-hmm. Give the customer choices. Mm-hmm. Okay. Give the customer, believe it or not, the customer wants to say no. Mm-hmm. Okay. And again, that doesn't sound very... Mm. It's counterintuitive. It's counterintuitive. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. But the customer wants to say no. Right. Because no one wakes up in the morning <laughs> and wants to call a plumber. <laughs> no one wants to spend any money with a plumber. Zero. Okay. Zip, All right. Mm-hmm. So give them choices. Mm-hmm. Something to say no to. By the way, three choices only. Mm. Three choices only. Three choices only. <laughs> We're a good, better, and best society. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you yes. if you think about it, without going through all the examples, mm-hmm. but in everything from you know the automotive industry mm-hmm. to TVs to toothpaste, car wash. Uh, you go car, get your car wash. You can pick right the basic, regular shiny tires and then full you know, the wax full max, and blah, wax, blah, blah, blah blah Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a, it's a good, better, best. Mm-hmm. All right. So the customer trusts that. It's it's how they buy already. Right. So make that buying experience. Again, mm-hmm. we're in, um, the, your customer is in a very uncomfortable situation. Mm-hmm. They didn't wake up this morning want to call a plumber. They don't want to spend money on plumbing. I right. know we love plumbing <laughs> and it's the best <laughs> and this is the greatest stuff and mm-hmm. all that. The customer mm-hmm. don't care. Mm-hmm. Okay, it ain't about plumbing. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's make the buying experience as as um, relative mm-hmm. as normal as comfortable as possible, mm-hmm. all right? So give them, they're used to choices. So give them choices. Right. You know, it's very, very, very rude just to do the broke fix thing. Yes. Okay? And to, to paint them in the, a corner. To, to paint and, them, that they have mm-hmm. to do that just that. Right. Okay, now we want to tell them that that's the good option should be what that is, why they called you out. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right, don't, uh, don't sell down to sell up. Okay, no. that's a thing out there where we go, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to sell... My toilet, you know, this is a flapper call or whatever, Mm -hmm. and I'm going to start with a toilet. Mm -hmm. Don't, the customer doesn't trust that. Mm -mm. Okay. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Start with what the problem is, the flapper. Okay. And be honest. Then, then offer another better option. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like um, a a toilet rebuild, you know, flapper and a a fill valve. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then finally is the replacement. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got the repair, you got an upgrade and then the replacement. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. With your toilet. All right? Mm-hmm. And notice how what I, that's called what's in the lane. Stand in the lane. You want to stay in the lane. Mm-hmm. Okay? So the customer, by, by this means, you know, it, it's all the same stuff. It's, it's in the toilet area. The problem's right. in the toilet. Mm-hmm. And so the customer will understand why you offered a new toilet. Mm-hmm. They may think, well, I know you want me to buy your new toilet, but I'm not going to buy your new <laughs> toilet. But... I'll go with door number two, okay, which is what happens. It's the Goldilocks mm-hmm. syndrome. Mm-hmm. This one's too hot. This one's too cold. But this one's just right. Just right. Okay, so they wind up going with the rebuild. Mm-hmm. Okay, it happens. Over, right. It's almost 80% of the customers will go with number two, mm-hmm. yep. okay? Mm-hmm. And so we're within the lane. Don't do this thing where, well, really, I'm going to throw in our softener. I'll do the flapper for free if you buy our softener. Mm-hmm. You're lost. Mm-hmm. You've lost the customer's trust right mm-hmm. there. Okay? Yeah, your plumbers, just they can't your do that. Plumbers can't do it. No. You, the owner, can probably do it. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why you're the plumbing business owner. Mm-hmm. Okay. A salesman, a salesman can do it mm-hmm. and knows all the tricks and how to manipulate people. Mm-hmm. Okay. But your guys cannot be taught to manipulate people right. as a salesman. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you don't, and you, can't scale you, that and you don't have to, right? right. You can't scale that, right. and that's can't what we're scale. talking about: being able to scale easily mm-hmm. to live the freedom while lifestyle life while having a life too. Exactly. Thank you for pulling that around. Yes, okay, you're so, welcome. so don't sell. Don't okay? sell. Serve right. your customers. Serve, serve the them customer. well. Right. Mm-hmm. So give give them choices. Mm-hmm. Give them something to say no to. Mm-hmm. Also, part of that is what we call price perspective. Price perspective. They'll okay. value with good, better, best, and money savings. Exactly right. right. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, and one great money saving is also um, having a, a maintenance program, right? Right. That's one great so way. So that's, that's where you can offer mm-hmm. up a, a maintenance program, mm-hmm. which provides really a maintenance program is designed just a really, it's a sales tool. Sure. Okay, a maintenance, mm-hmm. a maintenance program is a sales tool. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, not not to maintain their stuff. Mm-hmm. It's a sales tool. Right. So get them on a maintenance program. So you get them on a maintenance program, which mm-hmm. gives an immediate discount. Yes. You know that kind mm-hmm. of thing, so they can take advantage and of the discount. There's a value to it, right? There's a value to because the discount. You, you will do things like they get priority service mm-hmm. uh, back in the house a couple times a year to drain and flush their water the heater, water do heater. a plumbing inspection, mm-hmm. you know that kind of stuff. Exactly, but there's value. They give right. value to the discount. Right. So, so okay. Stop with the selling. Mm-hmm. You don't have to sell. Mm-mm. Okay. Just serve. All right. Just serve your customer. Mm-hmm. They called you. They're already sold. <laughs> stop, guys. Stop shaking in your boots. This is if I could get. The yes. guys with the whole selling thing, mm-hmm. okay? If, if you guys aren't closing the call, okay, mm-hmm. it's because you've lost the trust of the customer. It's true. Okay, so no matter what kind of words, you know, guys are looking for some kind of special, well, if the customer's Magic. standing, right, if they're, on the, mm-hmm. if they're leaning on the right foot and they say, <laughs> you know, I need to talk with my husband, then we say this. If they're, <laughs> if they're leaning back on their left foot, <laughs> then we, we say this, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of that, that's no. all BS. Just okay? listen to your customer. <laughs> right. Listen. Just, I know we talked about, I think right. that in the last show. Listen. Right. Listen's the best way. Right. To gain some trust. Okay. All right. All right. So there we go. Hey. Those, no like and trust. No like and trust. Mm-hmm. All right. Trust is a biggie. You'll all right. get more customers. Right. It's mm-hmm. a, the customers are already called. Mm-hmm. Okay. And mm-hmm. uh, notice here, I, I didn't really say anything about plumbing. Other than your guys to be knowledgeable, to be able to explain, you know, something about about the you know the, the plumbing mechanical or right. whatever sure. okay or mm-hmm. you know they're not looking like they're i've never seen this before, <laughs> seen this before. you know right. c- kind of a thing mm-hmm. okay but it does nothing to do with plumbing mm-hmm. okay um this option will stop emergency call <laughs> mm-hmm. this option right. will stop these emergency calls right yes okay but it has very little to do with with plumbing right okay with the gaining the customer's trust you really just get okay. in the mindset if your guys will just serve the customer well serve them well and it, it overcomes most objections right there so, we go okay okay in the first series no yeah that's a good one mm-hmm. no like and trust that's right okay okay got anything else million dollar plumber no hey look forward i'm looking forward to already working on the, you know, the next program and mm-hmm. what we're going over i'm just going to throw that hint out there okay it's, it's a good it's a good one and we have another one coming up a new series with some of our um, private coaching clients where we're going to have um them on potty talk live we'll have probably three or four the different master series the, it's called the master series and um private coaching clients of ours who have gone through the academy gone through private coaching have have grown and scaled their plumbing have gone from one truck and no and, money and no money and, to, and done well to million dollar plumbing businesses right right and so we're gonna um, have them on the show to talk different things how they went through how they went from one truck to yeah. now a million dollar plumbing business so i believe it's on the 16th um, we'll be talking about um, right. know your hourly rate. Yep. So yeah. And so, and so we're really excited about that. Uh, having some these masters guys are on. willing to uh, share mm-hmm. and you'll know most and share of them. their experience. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I, they, they would be the first to tell you if they can do it, you can do it too. Absolutely. Okay? Thanks, All right. GB. And so hey, if you want to know more mm-hmm. about what we just went over, mm-hmm. okay, and how you can truly build a million dollar plumbing business mm-hmm. while having a life too. All right, you need to check out my Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. Mm-hmm. In the Success Academy, we do just that. Okay, we go over thing, everything, what it takes to build everything. To a million dollar plumbing business mm-hmm. and beyond. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm so proud of some of the, the stories I I'm know. hearing are going beyond. beyond. It's like your kids. You want your kids to do even way better than you. Way better, bigger, better, right. more. I'll be disappointed mm-hmm. if my students don't do way better, way better. than the million dollar plumber. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, we need some you know hundred million dollar plumbers oh, out there. That would be great. There we go. Anybody? Right. Anybody okay. out there want to be a hundred million dollar plumber? All right. Plumber? Hey, but you can check it out for free. Mm-hmm. Okay. I make it Success easy for Academy. you. There's, there's no commitment. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's no. No, nothing. You know. If you hate us, move on. You know, worst case, you, you waste a couple hours. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. On, the, on the first module. Yep. Okay. But I guarantee you you'll learn something that will make your your plumbing business better okay mm-hmm. at best it's going to change your life so check yep. it out type free in the comments mm-hmm. or go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free mm-hmm. today. today and as always before i let you go i want to remind you that you are purposely and wonderfully created <laughs> go 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 and you are created to do great things so plumb like a champion Bye. tuning in to potty talk live with richard bainey the million dollar plumber if you enjoyed this show share it now just do it To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.